what happened to teaching kids or whoever it was, mm -hmm. whomever, the value of life. Good morning! It's 5 to 5. A.M. or P.M.? <laughs> P.M. They'll never outside. know. You are being so silly. I know. What are you doing? I am decompressing. Decompressing? playing a little Destiny 2. I think you deserve it. I, I had to do my presentation today and it was pretty tough. Yeah. And what grade did you get on it? Well, they don't. I'm. You just have to do it. Oh. You know we don't really get grades. We get critiques. Okay. So what? What did people think of your presentation? Oh, I think they liked it. Okay. Um, it was really hard for me to get up there and do it though because it was all about the transgender experience uh -huh. and it was um basically these models were compared and contrasted they like critiqued them to find out if they were like a proper model okay you know that encompassed everyone who you know was in the everyone who was transitioning okay so it was a pretty neat experience however it was tough for me because you know um that's what Ash was going through. Mm -hmm. And I just found it to be pretty difficult to get up there and talk knowing that that's, you know, what she was doing. That was her process. Right. So instead of just sitting there and almost breaking down crying, mm -hmm. I just talked about it. I just brought it up. I just said, you know, this is really tough for me right now because mm -hmm. this is you know, where my friend was. This is, And I think everyone really liked that I was being so open and honest about, you know, my feelings. Yeah. So. But it was a pretty good day. Um, today, I love Thursdays because it's my lifespan class. So it's like, I, I think it's really kind of helpful right now with our own, like what we're doing, you know? Uh-huh. So... That is pretty neat. Yeah. And plus, I love my professor. Um, you know, like, I actually, I love them all this semester. Well, that's good. Most most semesters. I actually don't think I've had a professor I haven't liked, you know, especially yeah. in my doctorate. In doctorate program. You know, it's it's been a great experience, but yeah. Well, good. So how was your day? It's been okay. Oh, I picked up your meds. Thank you. They yes. were all ready this time? Yes, they were. And I said, hey, I'm here to get prenates. Paulzine? Prenates. I called them prenates. I thought about you. Aw, thanks, yeah. honey. So what did you do today? Just hung out with my mom. Yeah? Yeah. Spent some time with my mom. Hey, Mr. Wilson. You got to see Lisa too, right? Yeah. We had lunch with my sister. So, you guys had Jimmy John's? Yeah, we got Jimmy John's. Now, how did you eat that? Because that's cold cuts. I ordered a veggie sub. Oh. Yep. Because I'm thinking about the possibility of being pregnant, so... I know that Can... you were planning on talking about that at some point, so we uh -huh. won't go into any more detail on that until you're done, because you might take a nap. Yeah, I've got a headache... Poor it keeps thing. coming and going, like pulsating. You could at least show people your beautiful face for just a second. I could. All right. You're just in a tank top. I know. Let me zoom out. You're a beautiful woman, babe. I just gotta zoom out. Hi, folks. Here I am. <laughs> Here's my beautiful face. You're beautiful. You're my beautiful little bunny. I'm so pretty. <laughs> So I'm just going to take a nap because I have a headache and I feel like throwing up. Aww. So I'm just going to rest my eyes a bit and 
Maybe that will make me feel better. I've been really tired yesterday and today. So I think a nap will, will definitely help the headache and the fatigue. And you did pick us up pumpkins. I did, I picked up some pumpkins for us today. I put them in the garage though, I didn't bring them in the house. Well, we shouldn't even do those for a while. No, we shouldn't carve them until, I don't know, maybe the middle of next week. Right. Because they, they go bad pretty fast after you carve them. They start to mold and stuff. Although I did see like a, a hack on Facebook. They took pumpkins and they carved them and they dipped them in different solutions and like one of them was vinegar and one of them was, they put like glue. Vinegar. I don't know if it was really glue, but they um, also they soaked one in bleach. That was the pumpkin that lasted the longest. Was bleach. the one that they dumped in the bleach. Yeah. It kind of discolored the inside a little bit, but there was no sinking in the pumpkin and there was no mold on the pumpkin. When they dipped it in vinegar, it started okay. to mold and sink and some of the other stuff they did. Oh, they rubbed Vaseline on it. That didn't hold it for very long either. Were so. all these pumpkins like of the same size or? Yeah. Okay. They were pretty much the same size. Okay. Were they all from the same patch? I, I don't know. It's one of those Facebook hacks, you know? I know, but me being, you know, somebody who reads journal articles two and three times a day, yeah. I want to know if these pumpkins were all from the same patch, were they grown in the same dirt, you know, like... Yeah, you know. I know. You know me. You so smart. No, I'm just curious. No, it makes sense So You have that research, research brain. <laughs> well, you read all these, like, articles and they're like, you know, 24 college students from a Midwestern college, and you're like, how are college students representative of the rest of the world, you know? Well, people come from all over to go to college. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Usually it's quite a higher SES background when people go to college, though, so. Yeah. But anyway, go ahead and take your nap. Thank you. Where's my mask? In Does anyone see my sleeping mask? Next to your bed. Or next to the bed. I lost it when I woke up at 4.30 this morning. You woke up at 4.30? Yeah, I had to pee. Okay. I don't even remember you waking up. And then I went back to sleep. I didn't sleep very well last night. You know why? Because as soon as I fell asleep, Tiffany was like, Hey, Carrie! She woke me up. And then she talked to me for a minute, and then I went back to sleep. And then That's not again, funny. Do you know what she happened was like, last Hey, night? Carrie! Yes, I do. I do know what happened. Hold on. So last night I'm looking through Facebook before I go to bed and I see this live feed from not even five miles from us. It was an overpass uh, on 75 southbound in Dodge Road in mm -hmm. Clio, Michigan. Mm -hmm. And apparently some kids threw bricks Do off Do we of even know they were the kids? Overpass. That's what everybody was saying in the feed. Okay. So I don't know if I missed that. That's why I said apparently. Mm -hmm. So some kids threw bricks off of the overpass and killed people. They weren't even bricks. They were actually like big rocks or big I balls of concrete. Oh, they were? I thought they were yeah. pieces of the... Um, what, those concrete bricks. I thought they were like all broken. The pictures I saw online... They looked like giant rocks. Jeez. I mean, what were they thinking? Did they not think that... I don't know. I don't even know. Whoever it was who did it, if it was the kids... There was a... That's horrible. One fatality that I know of. That's just horrible, man. A 37-year-old guy. Who's just driving down the highway. Yeah. Not doing anything wrong. You know, I know that I'm, like, very full of anxiety because of... You know, the loss that just happened. Yeah. But what happened to teaching kids or whoever it was, mm -hmm. whomever, the value of life. Like, you throw a brick off of a highway or a giant rock or whatever, you're going to cause some sort of accident that could lead to a fatality. Right. I just, I don't understand. It don't really either. bothers me because life is so precious. 
It just, I mean, it goes to show you that you could do everything right in your life and still could have a tragic freak accident like that. So, do you think that all overpasses should have the metal, you know how some of them have that, like, tall fence? Well, I mean, they could, but then they, people could also find something to stick through the fence. Right, because, I mean, any kind of a, I mean, a fence is usually, oh, you know, yeah. triangle, yeah. like that. You could fit a golf ball. Could you imagine I could if a fit golf ball, a like... a ten foot long metal pole through there. That's true. That's true. I mean, it doesn't need to be something heavy to cause an accident. It just no. needs to be something to throw you off. Right. That's why I said you know? even a tiny golf ball. Right. Just dropping out of the highway, like, whoa, what was that? Right. Like... Man. That is rough. <sighs> Alright, well I'm gonna go take a nap, so I'm going to continue playing my game. I hope that I need to look and get that system mm -hmm. set up so people can see what we're playing. Yeah. Because we're not playing Outlast. Outlast. We'd be playing mm -hmm. that together, but mm -hmm. we do play a couple other games that people, you know, might want to see or like something extra. Right. What is this? We'll tell all the folks on Xbox I said hello. Look at that. What is it? You see that? It's a foot. It's just oh, wow. sitting up here. You can't investigate it? No. It's just huh. sitting here. That's crazy. That's gross. Huh. Ugh. I wonder if it's from a drag. All right, I'm going to take a nap. Okay. Sweet dreams. I mean, why, why did I just say that? So I was watching this really cool um, documentary. Yeah. We're actually, we watched it in class today. Okay. It's called The Mask You Wear, and apparently it's on Netflix. Okay. And it's all about how people, this one is like the boy version, apparently there's a girl version. Okay. But this was all about how, you know, boys are raised and how, it's kind of hard to explain, but it talks about like the male role like models in their lives okay and how things that are said to them kind of program them to act the way they do act the way they do to have this persona okay yeah it was really really interesting that sounds interesting and it was talking about like all these statistics about um you know boys before they become men mm -hmm. and i had no idea that the average age that a boy tries drugs is 13. Really? I thought it would be much higher. Now I assumed that for mm -hmm. sex mm -hmm. and then it really got me thinking like man I'm not gonna want to let our kids out of the house. Now I know that's preposterous but you know what I mean? Right. Like, that's what I was thinking like through the whole thing like holy smokes. Yeah that's that's crazy I did not know that. So we are at Taco Bell. Do you know what we're getting your mother? Yes she yes. she messaged me. Okay, so we got it? Yep. What are we getting her? She wants a taco salad. That's it? Yeah. Okay. No, she wants some more stuff too, but... Alright. Well, why don't we order it because it's going to be pretty loud. Alright, yeah. Well, guys, Tiffany's been in the spare bedroom for like half an hour reading something. Let's go check on her and see what she's doing. Hey, babe. Yeah? What are you doing in here? Um, <clears throat> nothing. What are you doing? Uh, well, do you remember that gift I got you? Yeah. I wanted to see, because it looked pretty easy to put together. Well, then I opened it. Look at all those pieces. Oh, wow. Yeah. But look at this. The bottom part of the boat, the bottom part of the Titanic, is already put together. So it's just all the... Yeah, it's like all the top stuff. stuff, which I'm kind of sad about because <clears throat> I would have liked to put the whole boat together. Right. Do you want to know what happened to the Titanic kids? Yeah, tell me. So they hit an iceberg because they stopped. Mm hmm So this is the iceberg. Yeah. But rumor has it if they had kept going at full speed and turned, they would have been able to miss it. But when they stopped and slowed down, they couldn't maneuver. So the side of the iceberg hit the ship and it went dee, 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 dee. Punching little holes into it. Yeah. And these big ships back then had these, they called them bulkheads, and mm. they were supposed to be watertight. 
but they only went up to a certain part in the ship. Right. So the water ends up spilling over each one. So it started to go down like that. And if you look really closely, there's Jack and Rose, and they're on the back of the boat. Do you see them? Yeah. You just got to imagine it. You got to imagine that you see them. I'm on top of the world. Uh-oh. And then it goes like this, and then... And no, I'm not being insensitive, because a lot of people died on the Titanic, and it was very sad. I'm just talking about the movie. But yeah, anyway, yeah. I think this is cool. I love models. And then <clears> I have that General Lee to put together. I know. I got it for you last hazard. Christmas. I know. Again, not trying to be insensitive um, to anything Southern related. I just... I used to watch that TV show with my uncles. Yeah? Yeah. Anyway, that's what I've been doing. What have you been doing? Uh... I just haven't been feeling well. I know. Did you tell him that you have an upset stomach? I didn't. That might not be so... I mean, I know it sucks to have an upset stomach, but mm -hmm. that could be a sign. It could be a sign. So, obviously not morning sickness, but you have all those different hormones in your body. Right. You know, that you're not used to, so... <clears throat> I, I mean, just... I shrekt a lot. Uh, Yes. We told him that, right? Yeah, you did. Yeah. Shrek! <laughs> Speaking of, I came up with a new term when I feel like I'm going to puke. What is it? I'm going to Shrek it. Um, <clears throat> we should get, I don't know how long the vlog is, but it's getting kind of late. We should um, tell him about the symptoms that you've been having to keep up with baby watch. Sounds good. And then go ahead and close out. So you want to go get comfortable? We can do that real quick. Yeah. Okay, let's do that then. Perfect. Okay, I'll put this stuff away. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi. So let's talk symptoms. Okay. Well, oh, we're you made a note? <clears throat> yeah, I've been making notes every day. Oh my gosh, you didn't even tell me. No. Holy smokes, look at this. What's one DPO? <clears throat> day pass ovulation. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Why didn't you tell me about this? Uh. Okay. I'm okay. I've just been charting. No, that's great. <clears throat> this will be great for the baby book too. I figured... You would ask how I was feeling, so... And I have been, yeah. and you've been very... Descriptive. Descriptive, so yeah. this makes sense. So should I just start with the day that we had the IUI? I don't hear anyone complaining. Complain? Neither do I. Nope, they're good. <laughs> okay, so um, starting on the day of the IUI, I just felt bloated Okay. Um, after the insemination. Didn't have anything else. I didn't feel any cramping or anything like that. Just felt bloated because, you know, a foreign object was put up there, I think. Yeah, I think that's my good. belly has gotcha. a, a right to feel bloated, so. Yeah. <clears throat> um, the second day, the next day, I felt um, still bloated, and then I felt a little crampy on the right side, which is usually an indication to me that I have ovulated. Um, okay. I think I normally, I think that I get my cramps after I ovulate, so I just felt the normal cramping on the side of my pelvis. Um, the next day, um, I woke up with a little bit of spotting, which is normal. Um, it could have been from the IUI, or it could and have... And she said that, too. She did say that. Yeah. Or it could have been from the ovulation, period. Um... Sometimes it can take a t couple days for you to see spotting after ovulation. Um, <clears throat> I had more cramping on the side, which normally when I ovulate, I have two days of cramping on the side. And I was really, really crabby, and I was really, really tired. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You remember, don't you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember. Um, the next day. Which I is what day? Uh, three days past ovulation. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so I had a little bit more spotting when I woke up. I didn't have any other spotting throughout the rest of the day. Um, I had a little bit of cramping throughout the day. It was off and on. And this time it wasn't on the side like ovulation cramping. It was more towards the middle of my body. Have you ever so had that before? I haven't. Okay, so it was new cramping? <clears throat> that could a be new, a good sign. A new kind of cramping, yeah. Okay. Um, four days past ovulation, 
no spotting that day. Um, still some mild cramping in the middle of my pelvis. It kind of feels like a very mild period cramp. Okay. Okay. And which I don't normally get those cramps before my period. I normally get them in the middle of my period. Right. So I also had a little bit of nausea in the PM. Um, I was coaching my game and when I had those cramps and they got a little more intense, I started to feel a little nauseous. This was Tuesday? It was Tuesday. Okay. Yep. I was coaching my my girls. In the middle of the game, I thought, oh my god, I'm going to have to turn around and puke in this bucket. <laughs> but I didn't. I didn't have to do it. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, five days past ovulation. A little more mild cramping. So I've had pretty much cramps since we've okay. started, right? Um, it occasionally intensified into like a medium cramp. And then in the afternoon, I had a little more nausea and a little I started to get a headache. Okay. Um, and then today, I think, is six. Yeah, today is six days past ovulation. So this morning, I had a headache on and off. It seemed to get better with eating, but after a while, it just started to get a little constant. Um, I was kind of nauseous this morning. I gagged a little bit. And... <clears throat> I just feel a little bloated. There's a little bit of cramping, but not as much as I've experienced the past couple days. Okay. And then obviously tonight I got super sick. Okay. But is that from everything that's been going on or is it just from my headache? Right. Um, and you do sometimes get sick enough to where you have to throw up when you have right. a headache. So. Right. That. Yeah. Um. um. My friend Katie sent me a message, and uh -huh. she wrote that uh, her wife was very, very sick the next day, uh -huh. but they also had twins. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that could be, I mean, maybe that's yeah. a sign. Eesh. What do you guys think? Do you think my symptoms are normal, or do you think that there are signs of pregnancy? I, I almost know. waited for an answer there for a second. I can't, I can't tell, like, because right. a lot, some of these symptoms are new for me. I feel like they might be a sign of pregnancy, but then they could also just be a sign that my period's coming. So what do you guys think? Right. And I mean, the fact that you want to be pregnant so badly, you know, we right. want to be pregnant. We yes. want to extend our family. You know, you could be reading into every little thing. Yes, exactly. But the one thing that clues me in mm -hmm. to that, you know, it might have actually stuck was uh -huh. the fact that you've been feeling that dif different cramping. And when I asked my friend Amy, mm -hmm. I, you know, she asked how you were doing. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, she says she's been feeling this little cramping. Mm -hmm. And Amy just kind of looked at me and smiled. So, oh, that's good. you know, you, you have, I mean, <clears throat> like the egg has to move. Right. You know. Down the tube. And, and you probably feel that, little bits of that. They say that you can because, yeah. um, like, the little, I, I forget what they're called. The follicle? Nope. <clears throat> what is that called? I don't remember. Ah, just move along from it. It When it, like, moves the egg down, you can, like, feel the get cramping from that. Okay. Well, yeah. So, I guess we just have to wait it out. Yeah. Um... Regardless of whether or not we take a pregnancy <clears throat> test before next Friday, yeah. we won't be revealing anything because we want to make sure. We want to make sure that the blood test yeah, the comes, blood test back comes with back. good levels before we reveal anything. Right. So, but another week. Yeah, so that's going to be tough <clears throat> because it's already been tough waiting Excuse this long. Me. Yeah, you have got a lot of phlegm. Yeah, it's because I shrecked it track well we'll go ahead and close out because i know you're not feeling too well no. um but yeah that was pretty much today in a nutshell we just kind of took it easy you guys know that lots of stuff's going on mm -hmm. with us right now so um the vlogs might be a little less uh you know outside and doing a bunch of stuff right. and it's meat sale this week too so meat sale. and practices stuff like that we're going out of town um, yes. possibly, so we have to clean up for a sitter for the babies. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, so, I mean, we have just, just lots going on, but we're mm -hmm. trying to take some us time just in light of everything that's going on. Yeah. 
trying to keep our minds off of you know everything so yeah yeah that's hard though so yeah i guess that's pretty much it here at camp Pulzine. yeah so yeah all right well you know as always guys thanks for watching and subscribing sharing us with your friends oh, you forgot ringing that little bell what is it right here i wanted you to do it is yeah. it here mm -hmm. is this ding 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 look no one can see my face <laughs> Uh, anyway, yeah, we're really appreciative of yes. everything lately, guys, and uh, we love you. We do. Alrighty. We love our campers. Big time. Mm. Big time. Big time. Alrighty, guys, well, I guess that's it, so uh, we will catch you on the flippity.